We all know Drake was obsessed with Rihanna for a long time. And Rihanna didn't want his ass, okay? So it seems like Drake is still not over Rihanna, or at least still has salty feelings towards her. And he's facing a lot of backlash from Rihanna's fans right now because in his new song, Fear of Heights, he threw in a diss to Rihanna and to her man, ASAP Rocky. But this isn't the first time that Drake has expressed salty feelings about Rihanna, and their feud actually dates back to over a decade ago. And it seems like Drake is having a very hard time letting this go. Hey besties, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I just want to give a quick thank you for everybody who clicked on this video and is watching my videos. I took a break because honestly, I just had a lot going on. I took a bit of a hiatus. I don't know if anybody noticed, but I was really slacking for a while there, but I'm back. I realized that what I really needed to do was just make a schedule. <laughs> So I will be posting regularly again if you enjoy this type of content like celebrity gossip, tea. Then I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel or at least give this video a thumbs up because you don't understand how giving videos a thumbs up actually helps so much to boost the videos into the algorithm. So please, please, please give this video a thumbs up if you want to wait till the end of the video to see if you actually like it, that's fine. But thank you to everybody who has subscribed to me so far. I really want to make it my life's business for this channel to grow and become a successful YouTube channel. So thank you so much to everybody who's watching this video and supporting me. And okay, enough of that. Let's get into this drama, this feud with Drake and Rihanna. It's the classic case of a guy not getting the girl that he wants and he's upset about it and now he's gonna diss her and be like, oh yeah, I had better than you, whatever. So Drake and Rihanna have found themselves in a bit of controversy lately this past week or so because Drake came out with his new song, Fear of Heights, and there are a few lines in that song that are disses to Rihanna. They say, why they make it sound like I'm still hung up on you? That could never be. Gal can't run me. Better him than me. Better it's not me. I'm anti. I'm anti. Yeah. And the s was average with you. Yeah, I'm anti because I had it with you. I was getting into that for a second. So as we pick apart these lyrics, we can see. Oh my gosh, it sounds like I'm teaching a class. As we pick apart these lyrics, we can see that the this is clearly aimed towards Rihanna because of the lines I'm anti I'm anti and Rihanna has an album called anti and also the line yeah this was average with you and Rihanna has that song I'm sure we've all heard it at this point it's with me and the main verse in that song is it's with me so amazing so obviously Drake is feeling upset towards Rihanna and I've always felt this about Drake like I feel like Drake is a very emotional man does anybody else feel that way about him? I don't know. He just gives off this air. But anyway, so let's take a look at where this all comes from because obviously these feelings aren't coming out of thin air. And as I was doing my research on this, I found that this feud actually dates back to 2009, right after Rihanna split up with Chris Brown, which ugh, like I was thinking about doing a video on Rihanna and Chris Brown's relationship. So if you guys would like to see like a deep dive on that, oh, like anybody would be an upgrade from Chris Brown, seriously. But anyway, so after, shortly after Rihanna and Chris Brown split up, she actually went on a date with Drake, but it might've been more serious to Drake than it was to Rihanna. The two first met in 2005 on set of Rihanna's video for Ponzi Replay, but in 2009, after her split with Chris Brown, they were seen at Lucky Strike in New York City. And according to page six, sources told them that Rihanna was making out with him all night. So that was in May of 2009. And then by 2010, nothing else really came from that. It seems like it was just something casual, but Drake released his song Fireworks in 2010 and it seemed like he was sort of low-key dissing Rihanna in that song so let me pull up the lyrics to show you guys. I can tell it wasn't love just thought you f with me. Who could have predicted love could strike but how you stuck with me. 
I kept my wits about me luckily. What happened between us that night always seemed to trouble me. Now all of a sudden these gossip brags want to cover me and you making it seem that it happened that way because of me. But I was curious and I'll never forget it baby. What an experience. You could have been the one but it wasn't that serious. So then in 2010 in an interview with New York Times, Drake was talking about Rihanna saying that he felt like he had been used. He said, I was a pawn. You know what she was doing to me? She was doing exactly what I've done to so many women throughout my life, which is show them quality time and then disappear. I was like, wow, this feels terrible. So basically expressing that he felt like he was giving all of his time and energy to Rihanna, but felt like she pretty much ghosted him and didn't appreciate his efforts. After that, it seemed like they had made up when they collaborated for What's My Name in 2010. And after this, nothing really happened. It just seemed like they were friendly, on good terms, until June of 2012 when Drake fought Chris Brown at a New York City nightclub. But I mean, who can blame Drake? Like, even I would personally fight Chris Brown. So who can really blame him? But regardless, let's take a look at what went down. So TMZ reported, Drake and Chris Brown were in a fight at a New York City nightclub. They began yelling at each other and eventually things got physical when a bottle was thrown. Welcome back to Celebrity Physical Fights, where someone talked shit, got hit, and was famous. I'm Patty for part six, let's go with Drake and Chris Brown. On the night of June 14, 2012, Drake, Chris Brown, and their entourage just went to the Whip nightclub in Soho, New York. We all know Chris Brown was with Rihanna in 2009 and that Drake got with Rihanna in 2011 after their collab, Take Care. That night at the Soho nightclub, Chris Brown was there first. Chris knew Drake was with Rihanna still, so when Drake entered, Chris sent him a bottle of champagne. Drake immediately sent the champagne back to Chris via Meek Mill and other people in his entourage. This was Drake's way of saying, you know I'm still with Rihanna, leave us alone, I don't want your bottle. When Drake's friends approached Chris, they immediately got into a verbal argument over sending the bottle, and then someone swung on Chris Brown. So yes, people blame Drake and his crew for starting the fight first. When someone swung, Chris's friends defended him and started fighting with Drake's friends, which caused a whole fight. Someone sent by Drake threw the first bottle and the club ended up looking like this. Chris got cut and made fun of Drake on Twitter saying that the club had to shut down. An NBA player sued the club for 20 million because he was cut in the eye. They both had to deal with many lawsuits filed. And it seemed like Rihanna didn't appreciate this because at the 2012 VMAs, Drake won an award for best hip hop video. And while the rest of the crowd erupted into cheering and clapping, Rihanna just sat there stoic, not smiling, not clapping, nothing. Then a few months later in 2013, Drake said in an interview he addressed the Chris Brown situation and he basically said that Chris Brown is insecure and salty because the woman that he loves, quote unquote, fell into my lap, talking about Rihanna. And basically said that Chris Brown is salty because Drake treated Rihanna with respect when Chris Brown didn't. Which, I mean, I'm sure anybody would treat Rihanna better than Chris Brown did. Girl, I read that police report. Oh my gosh. So from then until like 2016, not a whole lot happened between the two of them. They were seen at one point holding hands together and getting into a private ride together, which we all know what that means but Rihanna was still denying having any sort of relationship with Drake aside from a friendship. And in 2016, they collaborated on work, but at the VMAs in 2016, there was a little bit of an incident between the two of them. And there is sort of like a theory about this, so I'll get into that in a second, but Drake made a speech for Rihanna and this is what he said. We love the videos which change their artistic vision from year to year, but most of all, we love the woman who hasn't changed since day one. She's someone. She's someone I've been in love with since I was 22 years old. She's one of my best friends in the world. All my adult life, I've looked up to her even though she's younger than me. She's a living, breathing legend in our industry. So Rihanna won her VMA and Drake was obviously the one presenting the VMA, which is why he gave that speech. And when Rihanna went on stage to accept her award, something seemed off between the two of them. Drake went in for a kiss on stage and Rihanna dodged it, not once, but twice. And it's really awkward. Let me show you this clip. It 
Drake was in love with Rihanna and he didn't even try to hide it. Take for example at the 2016 BMAs when he pretty much professed his love for her in front of the entire world. She's someone I've been in love with since I was 22 years old. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the recipient of the Michael Jackson Vanguard Award for 2016, Rihanna. The way she sidestepped his kiss was just embarrassing. It was at this point that people started to doubt if they could ever be anything more than friends because it looked like she solidly had him in the friend zone. So the theory about this VMA situation is that Drake and Rihanna were having a secret relationship this during this time and Drake had it planned out that he was going to propose to Rihanna at the VMAs but he was late showing up to the VMAs and he missed her performance, which then in turn upset Rihanna and the whole thing was pretty much ruined because this was the make or break moment of their relationship and Drake being late pretty much broke it. And this is all alleged, by the way. Drake dissing Rihanna is so funny to me because of this moment. So if you kind of follow Rihanna, you know that she doesn't really like claim her boyfriends per se. Like she kind of pop up with somebody new. They're all cute or whatever. And somebody somewhere confirms to some publication like, yeah, she's seeing somebody. But it's like casual. It's cool. Whatever. And Drake and Rihanna have been off and on allegedly for like four or five, maybe even six years at this point. And it would always go between like Rihanna and Nikki. I don't know if there's ever any beef with that, but like... I hope no one will ever beef over Aubrey. But I digress. So back to it. Um, they're on again, off again, all this stuff. And allegedly with her performance and her winning the award. So this is like a lifetime achievement award for music videos, right? Back when people used to actively watch them. But uh, she's winning it. I think it was like the Visionary or Michael Jackson Award. Anyways, it's a pretty big award for MTV in her career. And allegedly what happened was... He was in the city that this was held in, but he was late to the red carpet and he was not there for her performance. And this was like her ultimatum moment. Basically, this is the moment she was like, either you nut up or you shut up. And I think the rumor was that this was going to be the point where he like proposed to her and they were gonna be like out and official and they were gonna get married and all of this stuff, but he needed to be there. And that's like part of the reason he was presenting. I don't know how true that was, but I still believe it to this day. But he misses the mark by not showing up on time. And this is like a quick little blurb of the article, which gave us this awkward moment where I feel like she really played it up for the cameras to not absolutely destroy this man. But knowing what we know now, she should have left him out to bleed on that stage. Cause honestly, he was trying to manipulate the entire situation in front of everybody. Like it's giving nice gay energy, feel bad for me because my girl doesn't like me, but she's not really my girl because I cannot step up to the plate. But I digress. So fast forward to now, we all know that Rihanna is with ASAP Rocky. They have two kids together. I love Flacco, I'm a big fan. But Drake also dissed ASAP Rocky in his song, Fear of Heights, at pretty much the same time that he dissed Rihanna because he said, after he said the line, yeah, this was average with you, he said, yeah, I'm anti because I had it with you. Okay, I'm anti like your daddy's sister. Anti like a family picture. Yeah, I had way better than you to bh yeah that man he's still with you he can't leave you y'all go on vacation but it's antigua okay i need to stop <laughs> his next line after that line is let me stop it seems like this diss didn't bother rihanna at all though because she was seen right after this having a grand old time with asap rocky partying dancing it up That I forgot to cover here let me know in the comments and if you do want to see that video like a deep dive on Rihanna and Chris Brown's relationship then let me know because I read the police report and uh, like how is Chris Brown wa walking free but let me know what your thoughts are on this in the comments below please give this video a thumbs up like seriously if there's anything you do let it be a thumbs up or a subscribe um, and let me know if there's any other topics that you want me to cover in the comments below. You can follow me on Instagram. I post on Instagram every single day and you can talk to me on there and stuff. That's where I'm like the most active. So find me on there and I hope that you will subscribe. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye.